Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be going through a number of techniques you can apply to speed up the performance of your Windows 10 for free and without using any third-party software. Performance improvement can be seen from a decrease in boot time to quicker application launch and overall speed up of your Windows operations. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first technique would be to disable all unnecessary startup programs. To do that, press the keyboard combination Control, Shift, Escape to go to your task manager or simply right click an empty space on your taskbar and select task manager from the list. With the task manager open, click on the startup tab. There you should see a list of all programs that start automatically when you boot up your windows. So here you have the names of the programs, the publishers, the status and then the startup impacts. By default, all the programs on this list are enabled, so the two key parameters to look out for would be the publisher and the startup impacts. This is important because sometimes you might find programs you haven't installed on this list, so you won't know for sure how relevant they might be. One way to verify would be to do a quick search on such programs on the internet. Another way would be to check the publishers. Usually, I wouldn't disable programs from Microsoft Corporation because other programs might have some dependency on them. Here, as you can see, I have three of such startup programs from Microsoft and the startup impacts, which is basically a measure of how much resources they use upon startup are medium to low. So I will let them be. Here, I will start off by disabling unwanted programs with high startup impacts. To do that, simply click on the program you want to disable, then click on disable on the bottom right corner of the window. This is a very important technique for speeding up your system because some of these programs have several other sub-processes running under them. For instance, Adobe Creative Cloud here has 23 other sub-processes running under it, so disabling it will definitely save the PC a lot of startup resources, hence speeding up the startup process. The second technique is to reduce runtime services. To do that, you go to your Windows search and type System Configurations. Then click on System Configuration from the search result. On this System Configuration window, click on Services. Here you would see a list of all your system services, the manufacturers as well as the status of each service. So here again, I wouldn't want to tamper with Microsoft services and I recommend you don't as well because even if you might not directly need some of the Microsoft services, they might have other needed services that depend on them. So disabling one could affect a bunch of others. Windows has made it easy to avoid this mistake by providing a single checkbox that when you click, it simply hides all Microsoft services. So you will be left with only those services that you can check and see if they are actually useful to you or not. There are also also some quick options here to either enable or disable all services on the list. But if you don't want to use those, simply uncheck each service or uncheck the unwanted services and click on apply for changes to take effect. Always remember to click on apply when you have made changes to these settings otherwise they won't take effect. The third technique is to change your power settings to high performance. To do that, click on your Windows search and type power and sleep settings. Then click on power and sleep settings from the search result. It should take you to this page. On the right side of the page under related settings, click on additional power settings. Now it should take you to this page where you can customize your power plan. If you have your set to balance, then you may want to change it to high performance. Of course, this will put a little more demand on your power usage, but if that is not a problem for you, then setting your power plan to high performance can substantially improve your boot time and the overall system performance. The next technique is to uninstall all unwanted programs. To do that, go to your start menu and click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. On the Windows settings page, click on apps and it should take you to this apps and feature settings page. Here you should see a list of all programs you have currently installed on your PC. If you check through this list, more than likely you would find a number of programs you don't remember installing or programs you simply don't use again. Click on such unwanted programs to select them and then click on uninstall to remove them. Remember to wait for each program to finish uninstalling before clicking on another.
Moving on to the next technique, which is to turn on fast startup utility in Windows. This is mostly applicable if you are experiencing unusual delays when starting up your Windows after a shutdown. To turn on the fast startup utility, open your power and sleep settings once again by clicking on your Windows search and typing power and sleep settings. On the page that appears, click on additional power settings on the right. Then the power option settings page should pop up. Here click on choose what the power button does. Then on the page that follows, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Here you should ensure that the turn on fast startup is enabled. If not, click to turn it on and then save changes. The next technique is to disable the ULPS feature using the registry editor. ULPS is short for ultra low power state. This feature is found in AMD GPUs with multiple GPU crossfire configuration. With this feature enabled, Windows will turn off the second GPU when it is not in use. However, for some chipsets and processors, this could become a problem especially with overclocked processors. A typical sign is usually delays during Windows startup. So to disable the ULPS feature, go to your Windows search and type Reg Edit as shown on the screen and then click on the Reg Edit from the search results. That should take you to the registry editor. On this page, use the keyboard combination Ctrl F to open the Find dialog box. Here type in Enable ULPS together without space just as shown on the screen. Hit enter and wait for the search result to come up. Sometimes it takes a while for the search results to load so you might have to be patient. If you don't have an AMD GPU, you might not see this file from the search results in which case you should proceed to the next technique. If you have the enabled ULPS on your search results, double click on it and change the value data to zero and hit OK, then close the registry editor. And by the way, most of the techniques we've covered so far become effective only after you restart your windows. The final technique for this tutorial is to perform a disk defragmentation. Disk defragmentation basically assembles your file fragments back together as single units, thereby enabling fast access to such files when Windows or other applications need them. To defragment your disk, simply go to your Windows search and type defragment. Click on defragment and optimize drives from the search results. You should see a window like this. Here you should select the drive where you installed your Windows. This is usually the C drive, so select C drive and click on Optimize. Then wait for the optimization process to run. Of course, you can also defragment other disks, especially if you have some frequently accessed files on them. After the optimization, simply close the window and restart your PC. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share your comments with us down in the comments section. We do our best to respond to all comments. This will also help more people to find this video. And for more tech support videos like this, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification on future videos. Many thanks for watching and see you in the next one.